Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Today we're going back up to Scotland in Edinburgh and this is from Innocent Gun and this is their rum finish. It's a oak barrel aged um, is it oak barrel aged? Yeah, oak barrel aged rum finish. So this used to be a special edition limited release beer, um, but now it's part of their core range apparently, what I've just read. Um, it's a four-bodied Scottish beer bursting with fruit and spicy notes. It's coming in at 6.8% ABV. Um, so yeah, this is Scottish export ale. So not a Scotch ale, a Scottish export ale. Uh, yeah, as I said, 6.8% ABV. I haven't got an IBU count for this. This is coming in a 330ml bottle. UK kind of standard size, not, not a... 355 mil bottle that you get in the states and maybe Canada um, so yeah let's crack it open and give it a try I purchased this beer from oh, where did I get it from uh, Waitrose I can't remember how, much, remember how much I paid for it now about £1.60 70 something like that I can't remember A little bit of smoke, not too much. That beer in the glass then. Let me just swirl this glass out with a bit of water. It's all very well kind of planned as you can see. Oh look at that. Lovely kind of rich ruby colour. I know these kind of uh, beers from Innocent Gun get kind of a little bit of a bad press especially their original a lot, a lot of my kind of friends have saying oh they're a little bit cardboard card, cardboard cardboardy I had a beer already so who cares I know most of you don't um, yeah they, they've got that kind of wishy-washy slightly synthetic a lot of people say this to me, it's not my personal opinion, but I'm like, yeah, I actually don't mind them now, though. Now that I'm getting more into my kind of um, general kind of supermarket beers, what I've had of this brewery, not too bad. Anyway, beer in a glass, a dark, deep mahogany colour, very clear, but just slightly dark, half finger of just off-white head. Yeah, it looks really nice. Let's get an aroma then. Straight off the bat I'm picking up some some, some kind of raisiny note. Dark fruits. Maybe some figs. Quite intense kind of dark fruit figs. Um, plums. That, that, that kind of thing. There is a slight sweetness coming through, maybe some brown sugar, molasses, that kind of thing. Slightly sticky, almost aroma. But you are definitely picking up that kind of slight oakiness, maybe a slight there's a slight nuttiness in there. Maybe is is it walnut or I'm not quite sure about what what actual Pacific nut quality it is. There's a slight sweetness, maybe a slight bit of kind of vanilla coming on. Hmm. It smells really quite decent to be fair. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh wow. Very sweet. About halfway through the palate, as soon as you swallow it, it leaves that kind of more of, of a kind of a refined stickiness quality. It's almost like your palate kind of refines it, and then you're left with this real kind of sweetness on the back end.
yeah, there's definitely kind of a, an oaky, kind of nutty quality going on there. I think walnut is not far off the mark for the, that nutty quality. There's a slight dryness coming through with that kind of woody edge from the, from the rum cask. But then from the rum, you're picking up that kind of uh, dark fruit quality, raisins, dates, figs, that, that, that kind of thing going on. But then there also is a, a slight kind of, from the oak barrels, that kind of vanilla -y kind of sweetness. A lot of things coming through on the aroma of coming through in a taste, which is, you know, it really does marry quite well. You are picking up a little bit of the ABV. Um, is it 6.8%? Yeah, ABV, so... But yeah, it's, it's, it's a very kind of, I can't remember how much I paid for it, I think I said £1.60, it, it, it was below £2, between £1.60 and £1.90, something in that range, I can't remember exactly, but um, from Waitrose, but, excuse me, for what it is, it's, it's, it's a fantastic beer for that price, excuse me, again. I mean, it's got that kind of. I get it with some breweries beers, and I'm. I think I'm picking up, generally through, um, Innocent Guns beers. Um, I need to say Shepherd Name, which leads me on to that kind of comparison of. You'd kind of know it's a, Innocent Gun beer, with what I've tried so far, four or five different beers. It's got that kind of Innocent Gun stamp throughout all of their beers and it's the same with what I find with um, uh, Shep and Neen. it's that kind of you just kind of know once you once you you know what I mean well, when I say it by that is if you're drinking these kind of beers fairly regularly not not you know every day but maybe one or two a month or you kind of know you just get to know a certain breweries kind of I don't know it's probably their yeast strain or whatever it is but you just get to know that that kind of uh, characteristic of a brewery fantastic in the glass really is yeah it's a good beer um, as regards a rating for my personal palate um, I think that's worthy of a a seven and a half out of ten. I think that's where I'm going to place it. Um, if I was on untapped, I'll yeah, trying to work it out what an untapped would be. Um, seven and a half out of ten. Let me just have a look just to work my head out with this. Um, yeah, I'm not too far off actually. That's the first time I've looked at the score. Um, so right, okay. On Untapped, this has got sixty-six thousand five hundred twenty-five ratings, and it's coming in at three point six eight. So I think seven and a half works out at three point seven five. So, and I that's the first time I've looked at it. So yeah, I'm giving this a seven and a half out of ten. I think it's worthy of that. Um, Apparently this is part of their core range now, so um, I think this is in several supermarkets in now in the UK. Um, Waitrose, where I got this from, was obviously one of them. So if you've had this beer before from Innocent Gun, this is their rum finish. Um, this is a full-bodied Scottish beer bursting with fruit and spicy notes. Let me know what you think about it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, etc. And any kind of other beers down below that I've not tried. I've got an Innocent Gun playlist and a Scottish Craft Beer playlist, which will be down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.